Hey business warriors, welcome to the show. And on the morning of January 12th at 8.30 a.m., which is tomorrow, the Bureau of Labor Statistics will release the Consumer Price Index figures or CPI figures for December of 2021. And the figure is estimated to be 7.1% according to a Dow Jones estimate, which is up from 6.8% a month earlier in November. And it's also the highest figure since 1985 and the sharpest increase since 1982. The Consumer Price Index is one of the indexes used to measure the decline in the purchasing power of money. So for example, if I had $100 this year and inflation is running at 7%, then next year my $100 will only be able to buy as much stuff as about $93. That's probably about $3 there, right? $93 would have this year. Can I still spend that? I'll take it to a bank, get it changed. As long as you have over 50% of it, I think it's okay. In really extreme cases of inflation, money becomes worthless and people have to carry around bills in wheelbarrows. And then you also get ridiculous denominations like the famous Zimbabwean trillion dollar bill, which is also now worthless. Anyway, the consumer price index is made up of a basket of goods. And we can see from the Bureau of Labor and Statistics that a large portion of that is energy costs. Have you been to a gas station recently? So anyway, the price of energy, including gas, is distorting it because that's running at 33%, but food is still 6.1% and other items are at 4.9%. Now, what does this high inflation mean for the economy and for your money? Well, don't expect to be carting around wheelbarrows of money anytime soon or paying with trillion dollar bills, but it does mean that the Fed will step in to stop it and attempt to bring it down to their target of 2%. And to do this, they will use monetary policy namely interest rate hikes and tightening their balance sheet. The chairman of the Atlanta Fed was just interviewed in Reuters saying, there is a risk inflation is likely to be elevated for an extended period of time and we need to respond directly, clearly and aggressively. So that implies interest rates will be raised and the consensus seems to be around March, they will start raising rates with probably three rate hikes this year. Goldman Sachs thinks that there will be four rate hikes. Then there is the balance sheet. Now the Federal Reserve has bought about four trillion dollars worth of bonds and mortgage backed securities since the pandemic started in 2020, which has ballooned its balance sheet up to $8.8 trillion. So the Federal Reserve will have to start shrinking this balance sheet to fight inflation, which will remove liquidity from the market. Now, what does this all mean for the stock market? Well, because of the interest rate hikes, the price of borrowing money will increase, which means the price of doing business will increase, and thus companies will make less money. And so obviously that will impact the price of stocks. Likewise, a bigger Fed balance sheet is seen as positive for the stock market. So as the Fed starts to unwind, we will most likely see some impact as well. So all these YouTubers talking about the 2022 recession, they're probably not wrong and we could see some turbulent times for stocks ahead. Likewise, if you're thinking about taking out a mortgage to buy a house or actually any kind of loan, I would do that as fast as possible, okay? Because if interest rates really start getting raised in March, then you will see your mortgage interest rate, loan interest rates all increasing as well. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video and we will find out at 8.30 tomorrow morning, Wednesday, January 12th, if inflation really has hit uh, 7%. And if I haven't scared you out of investing in the stock market completely, which, you know, I shouldn't have because just dollar cost averaging and buying continuously is a good strategy no matter what the market is doing. You will need a brokerage app for investing in the stock market and I can recommend Webull and you can get two free stocks for signing up with my link below. One of those stocks valued between seven and $3,000. Luck of the draw, what you get. So if you wanna take advantage of that offer, link is below. As always, please subscribe to the channel for new videos every few days and we'll see you next time, bye bye.